is your joy. Someone introduced me the other day on email, and the way she introduced me, she said, I would like you to meet Christy Hardwick, who is a recovering Silicon Valley executive. <laughs> and I thought that was a very interesting way to introduce me. But I understand why she did it. When I worked inside corporations, as I was getting my calling to a greater idea, those last few years, I began to ask the leaders around me, where is your joy meter? Where is your joy meter? Is it here? Is it there? Is it here? And most of the time, what they gave me was a blank stare. Joy? It's not even registering, let alone somewhere on the meter. So sometimes we are in situations and places and environments where we don't remember our joy. And the joy is on the inside and has never been on the outside. I don't know about you, but I use some outside things sometimes to remind myself of what is in here. But the thing out there is not creating the thing in here. The thing out there is just a reminder. Even the beauty of nature, just a reminder of the joy that's inside, the growth that's inside of us. Now, when I think about joy in these times, sometimes I need a little help to remember what's inside me, to let it bubble up. I have to dig deeper to let it bubble up inside me. But you know what? I was looking at a website for the movement for black lives. Now there's a lot going on out there about black lives, a lot going on out there about racial strife. But you know what the words that were on there that jumped out at me that people may not have read or noticed? They said, joy is power. Healing is resistance. So imagine that, joy as your power. Joy as your ability to be powerful in any situations because you can dig deep and find that joy in you in spite of what's going on outside there. And you can heal as a form of resistance to whatever is going on out there. But all the work goes on in here. Where is your joy? Where is your joy? Where is your joy? Let it be a wellspring and let it flow.